Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to have a go at creating a gabion wall or gabion basket to create retaining structure. So we're going to go to File, New, Family. I'm going to scroll down to Metric Site. There we go. And use that template to open up. First thing to do is create some reference planes. So let's stick some of these in here. I'll call that one depth and change it to one meter. And then I'll do another one over here. Change that to a meter and change that to width. OK, then I'll jump to an elevation view, create another one. Change it again to a thousand for one meter, and this one is height. Okay, next we'll put some dimensions in. So we'll annotate the lines and we'll dimension those. And what we're going to do then is okay. Exit from the dimension command, click on that, and we'll create a parameter. So that is going to be width. This one is going to be depth. Then we'll jump back over here, put another dimension in. Click on that one and call it height. There we go. Now we can go back here and we're ready now to create our extrusion. I'll use the rectangle, go from that corner to that corner, and then we get all these padlocks. So we want to lock it to our reference planes. Change the extrusion end to 1000. Material. We're going to have to create a new material at this point. So rename that material. Avian basket. So you might want to play around with the graphics a little bit. I'm going to create some extra little patterns. So I'll just do a cross hatch pattern at 75 millimeters for a surface pattern. Say OK, and I'll make it black. So when you're looking at it in dimension view, etc., you get something there. And I'll use a diagonal pattern and I'll just call that 25. And make that black as well. Now the appearance. So I've already located an image on the internet of a Gabion basket, looking straight at it, edited that image to a nice square one about the right size, uh, one meter square is what I'm aiming for. So I load that in, click on it now to bring up the scale sample size here, change that to 1000 in each direction. So that looks like that. Um, say OK. And then we're going to do the green tick. Now, what we next want to do is go here and we want to lock the top of it to this one. So I'm just going to grab that and drag it off and back onto it and then click the padlock like so. OK, so we're now going to file, save as a family and Gabion basket. There we go. Save. Yes, I'll replace that. You wouldn't have one there, but there we go. OK, so now we can load it into the project. I'll over my, my existing version because I want to use this one. OK, so we're on the site plan by here. I'm going to go component, Gabion basket. All right, now we've got it. Um, first of all, you can obviously just stick them in as you want. But a little trick, if you bring it in and you see it locks the line there. Now, if I use the space bar at this point, it will now actually lock it parallel with that 
So I can put one in. It's at level zero. We'll look at that in 3D. So we can see that looks pretty good like that. We're happy with that. So let's jump back here. Let's now use the array command to quickly make a wall of them. OK, so we'll have, say, 20 of those. And what I'm going to do, you could go from here we go, external corner to external corner, as long as you know it's all in a straight line. OK, that was a few too many. So I could just delete a couple there. We'll look at that again. So we can see we've got that like so. Let's now say we want to have a set of smaller baskets on top. So let's jump back to our site plan component, edit type, duplicate, and we'll do a half the, well, quite a lot smaller, 500. Click OK. And then, of course, we've got our dimensions here. So we can change each of those to 500. So now we've got a 500 cubed basket. Click OK. Level 0 and um, offset from host. We're going to do 1,000 because we want it to go on top of the baskets we've already got. So I'll just go there and do that and space bar it round. And then again, I can click on that and do an array. And we'll have um, about 30 of these ones. And we'll just do the same thing again for the way to and from, lock onto the corners like so. Go to 3D. And as we can see, we've now created a Gabion wall there using a retaining structure. And of course, the cubes are parametric, so you can make the cubes any size you wish. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please support the channel. Um, look forward to seeing you uh, 